split element is an editing feature that allows me to divide a single element into two parts. And I can choose where that divide happens. It's something that I will do when editing and I have overlapping pieces and I need to kind of pull apart an element to allow space for that or delete a certain section. I will split that element and then delete the little bit that I don't want. But we're going to use it here for a little bit of kind of element weaving or overlap. Here I have a couple of elements that I would like to kind of have weave through each other. And I have the ones on the left in columns, and they're in column ones. And the ones on the right are in fills. So we're going to look at doing this a couple of different ways, depending on the type of elements that you have. But first, we're going to start with this pair right here. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to fit them into the window. And then I want to look at what I, I really want to do. And so what I want to do is have this S look like it is going under the top bar of the E and then over the vertical bar. So I want it to come over here. I want it to go under here. Because split element works in a straight line, I'm going to choose to split the S because I have this nice straight line to go against in the E. And I keep referencing these letters. It's an S and an E. Yeah, that's that's what the shapes make up, but they're they're really just all the individual elements. So it's not lettering I'm working with, it's the individual wireframe elements. Okay, so this is the piece that I want to deal with. And I really want to split the element so that I can delete this middle part of the S. And I'm going to split right along here. Now, it doesn't have a point to split along, so I need to add it. So I'm going to left click to add this point. And I added it here. And if I right click and I go to operations, I can go to split element. Now, this is something I do not infrequently. So I have a keyboard shortcut set up via the accelerator editor. And because it's a column one, because column ones work in pairs of points, if I split with one point selected, it will split along the pair. So I click on that, it's split. And so now I have this piece and I have this piece. So now I want to come in. I want to add another pair of points here. This one's really close. I'm just going to tweak this. I'm going to pull this up a little bit so that it's right along that edge. If you need to edit that curve, you can. And then you can either right click operations split element and then delete the bit that you don't want or you could have selected the points that you didn't want and delete them. And now I've got this piece, which I need this line. Should have made that a different color, huh? Let's make it a lighter blue so that, well, yeah, now we can at least see that line a little bit better. So I'm going to drag this up so that it is kind of even with the top of that E, but now I've really messed up this line. So I'm going to kind of fix that. And then I'm going to move this one as well, just to kind of fan those stitches. Because it's a column one and the pairs of points determine the stitch direction, I'm, I'm treating this as if these stitch directions or these pairs of points were spokes on a bicycle wheel and I'm trying to come out from the middle. So I'm kind of trying to aim that out to fan those stitches as best I can. Okay, so now if I go out of 3D, you can see I have a nice gap there. But what I really need to do is I need to take these last bits and I need to have them sew first and then I need these bits to sew after the E. And so now if I go into 3D, it looks like it is weaving through and around that E. And if you wanted to, you could 
pull out some of the stitches underneath here as well by doing the same thing with this section of the E. I think it's small enough, I'm not gonna worry about it. But that's how we get that kind of interlocking characters or interlocking pieces when we already have stuff and we're overlapping them and we want to manipulate those elements. Split element can be used to do that very, very effectively. So that's with a column one. And again, that's working in pairs of points. If I select one and I right click and I go to operations and split elements, it will take it right along its mate. If you had a column two or a complex fill, let's change this to that light blue so that we can see those wireframe lines a little bit easier. Well, then that's a little bit different. With these, I need to actually put in the points on both sides. So here I have one, here I have the other. I need to select them both. So I'm going to select one, it's filled in with black. I'm gonna hold control, I'm gonna select the other. Now they're both selected. With them both selected, I can right click, operations, split element, and now that pulled that apart. So now I have this bottom piece, and this top piece, I need to edit this bottom piece. So I'm going to insert those points again, right where I want them. And then last time I split the element there. This time I'm just going to hold shift, click and drag a, a box around the points that I don't want. And I'm gonna hit delete. It gave me a little bit of a curve because I had those handles coming out of those points. If I want to straighten that, I'm going to hold control, right click on that line and that straightens that out. And now I just need to change my sew order. So now I just want this to sew after the E. And now that's going to sew on top. And now I've got those interlocking there. And this too, you could come in and pull that out from underneath of there. Split element also works with linear elements, so I can use it with a walk stitch or a single line. Here's a leaf. It could use a little bit of help and it could use a few more veins and I can use split element to help me do that. So here I have this center bit and what I can do is I can insert a point where I would like to come off of that and then right click, go to operations, split element and now I have this first piece but then I can choose a walk stitch and let's do a walk retrace so it comes back where it was and I can digitize a vein coming off of it this way and then I can continue on and let's have one coming off of it here insert a point operations split element now I can grab that walk normal retrace I can come off here Let's do just a couple more. So I'm going to grab that piece again. Let's come off right around here. Right click, operations, split element. Grab my walk input. And then let's do just one more. I'm going to grab that editing tool. I'm going to come in here and let's say let's add one here. So I'm going to left click. And then with it still selected, right click on it, operations, split elements, and then I can add that little bit in here. Now we've added those veins and we've not added any trims. Well, at least I don't think we have update auto ties and trims. Nope, we've not because we're starting where we ended and we come back and everybody is happy, but we use that to find an insert point to add new elements. So that's often how I will use split element for linear elements like this. Split element is a really handy editing tool for dividing elements into pieces that you can then separate them or you can insert travels or walks in between the elements so it's a great way to grab insert points into a design so that you can add little bits that weren't there to start and again with linear elements or column one you only have to select one of those points right click on it go to operations and split element 
with complex fills or column twos, you have to select two points so that it knows where to split it. But split element, one of my favorite handiest editing tools in DesignShop.